In mathematics, a Cayley graph, also known as a Cayley color graph, Cayley diagram, group diagram, or color group is a graph that encodes the abstract structure of a group. Its definition is suggested by Cayley's theorem and uses a specified, usually finite, set of generators for the group. It is a central tool in combinatorial and geometric group theory. Definition. Suppose that is a group and is a generating set. The Cayley graph is a color-directed graph constructed as follows. Each element of is assigned a vertex. The vertex set of is identified with. Each generator of is assigned a color. For any the vertices corresponding to the elements and are joined by a directed edge of color thus the edge set consists of pairs of the form with providing the color. In geometric group theory, the set is usually assumed to be finite, symmetric and not containing the identity element of the group. In this case, the uncolored Cayley graph is an ordinary graph. Its edges are not oriented and it does not contain loops. Examples. Suppose that is the infinite cyclic group and the set S consists of the standard generator 1 and its inverse then the Cayley graph is an infinite path. Similarly, if is the finite cyclic group of order n and the set S consists of two elements, the standard generator of G and its inverse, then the Cayley graph is the cycle. The Cayley graph of the direct product of groups is the Cartesian product of the corresponding Cayley graphs. Thus the Cayley graph of the abelian group with the set of generators consisting of four elements is the infinite grid on the plane, while for the direct products with similar generators the Cayley graph is the finite grid on a torus. A Cayley graph of the dihedral group D4 on two generators R and B is depicted to the left. Red arrows represent left multiplication by element A. Since element B is self-inverse, the blue lines which represent left multiplication by element B are undirected. Therefore the graph is mixed. It has eight vertices, eight arrows, and four edges. The Cayley table of the group D4 can be derived from the group presentation. A different Cayley graph of DIH4 is shown on the right. B is still the horizontal reflection and represented by blue lines. C is a diagonal reflection and represented by green lines. As both reflections are self-inverse the Cayley graph on the right is completely undirected. This graph corresponds to the presentation the Cayley graph of the free group on two generators A, B corresponding to the set S equals A, B, A minus 1. B minus 1 is depicted at the top of the article, and E represents the identity element. Traveling along an edge to the right represents right multiplication by A, while traveling along an edge upward corresponds to the multiplication by B. Since the free group has no relations, the Cayley graph has no cycles. This Cayley graph is a key ingredient in the proof of the Banach-Tarshi paradox. A Cayley graph of the discrete Heisenberg group is depicted to the right. The generators used in the picture are the three matrices X, Y, Z given by the three permutations of 1, 0, 0 for the entries X, Y, Z. They satisfy the relations, which can also be read off from the picture. This is a non-commutative infinite group, and despite being three-dimensional in some sense, the Cayley graph has four-dimensional volume growth. Characterization The group acts on itself by the left multiplication. This action may be viewed as the action of on its Cayley graph. Explicitly, an element maps a vertex to the vertex. The set of edges of the Cayley graph is preserved by this action. The edge is transformed into the edge. The left multiplication action of any group on itself is simply transitive, in particular, the Cayley graph is vertex transitive. This leads to the following characterization of Cayley graphs. Sabajusi theorem. A graph is a Cayley graph of a group if and only if it admits a simply transitive action of by graph automorphisms. To recover the group and the generating set from the Cayley graph, select a vertex and label it by the identity element of the group. Then label each vertex of by the unique element of that transforms into the set of generators of that yields as the Cayley graph is the set of labels of the vertices adjacent to the selected vertex. 
The generating set is finite if and only if the graph is locally finite. Elementary properties. If a member of the generating set is its own inverse, then it is generally represented by an undirected edge. The Cayley graph depends in an essential way on the choice of the set of generators. For example, if the generating set has elements then each vertex of the Cayley graph has incoming and outgoing directed edges. In the case of a symmetric generating set with elements, the Cayley graph is a regular directed graph of degree. Cycles in the Cayley graph indicate relations between the elements of in the more elaborate construction of the Cayley complex of a group. Closed paths corresponding to relations are filled in by polygons. This means that the problem of constructing the Cayley graph of a given presentation is equivalent to solving the word problem for if is a surjective group homomorphism and the images of the elements of the generating set for a distinct, then it induces a covering of graphs, where in particular, if a group has generators, all of order different from two, and the set consists of these generators together with their inverses then the Cayley graph is covered by the infinite regular tree of degree corresponding to the free group on the same set of generators. A graph can be constructed even if the set does not generate the group however, it is disconnected and is not considered to be a Cayley graph. In this case, each connected component of the graph represents a coset of the subgroup generated by. For any finite Cayley graph considered as undirected, the vertex connectivity is at least equal to two-thirds of the degree of the graph. If the generating set is minimal, the vertex connectivity is equal to the degree. The edge connectivity is in all cases equal to the degree. Schreier coset graph. If one, instead, takes the vertices to be right cosets of a fixed subgroup, one obtains a related construction, the Schreier coset graph, which is at the basis of coset enumeration or the Todd Coxeter process. Connection to group theory. Insights into the structure of the group can be obtained by studying the adjacency matrix of the graph and in particular applying the theorems of spectral graph theory, geometric group theory for infinite groups. The coarse geometry of the Cayley graph is fundamental to geometric group theory. For a finitely generated group, this is independent a choice of finite set of generators, hence an intrinsic property of the group. This is only interesting for infinite groups. Every finite group is coarsely equivalent to a point, since one can choose as finite set of generators the entire group. Formally, for a given choice of generators, one has the word metric, which determines a metric space. The coarse equivalence class of this space is an invariant of the group. History the Cayley graph was first considered for finite groups by Arthur Cayley in 1878. Max Den in his unpublished lectures on group theory from 1909-10 reintroduced Cayley graphs under the name Grapperbild, which led to the geometric group theory of today. His most important application was the solution of the word problem for the fundamental group of surfaces with genus 2, which is equivalent to the topological problem of deciding which closed curves on the surface contract to a point. Beta lattice. The beta lattice or Cayley tree is the Cayley graph of the free group on n generators. A presentation of a group G by n generators corresponds to a surjective map from the free group on n generators to the group G, and at the level of Cayley graphs to a map from the Cayley tree to the Cayley graph. This can also be interpreted as the universal cover of the Cayley graph, which is not in general simply connected.